today is we want to do the experiment which is you can look at in your textbook on page 222, 223 and also 224. We're going to discover about the reaction A which is the reaction between zinc and sulfuric acid and then the C, the reaction between the potassium iodide solution and lead to nitrate solution. Alright, so our aim for the experiment is to determine the time for reaction with reference to some observable and measurable changes. So the first experiment that we're going to do is reaction between zinc with the sulfuric acid. Stay tuned. With the concentration of 1.0 mol dm negative 3, and then what should you do? You have to pour this H2SO4 into the conical flask carefully. Alright? Okay? Okay, the second step. Okay, the second step we have here burette and also water. Okay, what should we do? We have to occupy this water into the burette. So, what should you do? You just pour the water into the burette. Okay. Alright, then. Okay, once you have the water inside the burette, and then what should you do? Okay, you just close uh, the mouth of the burette with your thumb, okay? And then after that, you invert the burette into a basin containing water, right? Then clamp the burette vertically. Okay, so the next one, once you clamp the burette vertically, please adjust the water level, this one. Okay, make sure the water level is 50 cubic centimeter mark. Okay. okay, so step number four. Okay, what should we do? Okay, we have the conical flask containing the H2SO4 together with the delivery tube. So the next one, we should set up the apparatus. Okay, this one, the delivery tube, you should... Immerse it into the water and then you make sure that you put the delivery tube into the burette. Okay? Alright. Okay, step number five. What should you do? We have the five gram of zinc powder and what should we do? We put this zinc powder immediately into the uh, conical flask. Okay? Okay, close the stopper immediately. Alright. Okay, for the step number 6, once you close the conical flask with the stopper connecting with the delivery tube and then start the stop watch.
experiment uh, of the reaction between potassium iodide and also the lead to nitrate solution. Alright, so what we're going to do, the first step we should do, okay, with the potassium iodide powder, 2 gram of it, and then another one, we weigh the lead to nitrate powder, also 2 gram using the weighing balance. Okay, the next one, we do the step number two, which is we have the distilled water and also the petri dish here. So what should you do is just pour the distilled water into the petri dish until 0.5 cm depth. Okay, so for the third step, you have the potassium iodide powder here and then what should you do, you just put this at the edge of the petri dish, okay? Okay, for the fourth step, what should you do? You have the lead to nitrate powder here and then what should you do, you just put diagonally across the potassium iodide just now. Start the stopwatch. Okay, step number six, you should record the time when the reaction is completed. That's it. Okay, when there is no more precipitate, huh? Okay, so the next one, you have the uh, content here. Okay, so you want to filter the content using the filter paper. Okay, so you just pour it into the... filter funnel carefully because you don't want to spill the content out of the filter funnel. Okay. With the help of the glass rod, then you will guide the solution to go through it without spilling, okay? So the next one, you have to make it all the precipitate in the petri dish into the filter paper. Carefully, okay? Okay, next you have to rinse the precipitate with the distilled water to make sure uh, all of the precipitate will be collected in the filter, uh, filter paper, okay? Okay, so the next step, once you do the filtration, okay, so you take it out, the filter paper inside the filter funnel, okay, carefully, yeah? alright. And then you put it on the marble tie and then we leave it to dry. And after dry we will wait that precipitate. Okay, after you already done weighing the precipitate and after that you have to record your data in the table. Okay, that's all from us. Hope you enjoy doing the experiment. Bye!